Welcome to the Nespresso Edition campaign. We are here in the Nespresso Boutique in Lausanne. I am Alexis Rodriguez. I am Colombian and responsible for the development of the Nespresso products. I am proud to be part of this campaign and I try to give you joy and inspiration. And more than this, I am so happy and proud to have you here with Renaud Capuzon, who is the master of the viola. Bonjour, Alexis. Bonjour, Renaud. Je vous accueille ici à la boutique de Nespresso à Lausanne. Merci beaucoup. What I would like to offer to you is to taste some of the new coffees for the Bertolai. Then I have three, I choose three ones. Then I have Melosio, Ethiopia, and Altizio. Which one do you prefer? I think I would like to try the Ethiopia. The Ethiopia one, okay. Yeah. okay. Excellent choice. <laughs> so you know better than anybody how to use this machine, I guess. I hope so. <laughs> and as you can see the noise that the machine makes, have different, have four different steps. So what, what are the steps? Then the steps are, the first one is what we call the pre-wetting, that is an infusion of water to put the coffee, to make swallow the coffee. The second one is when we start really the extraction of the coffee. Then you see that now we change. It's really to make more smooth the release of the components that give the aftertaste. And then after is the fast, the last part that we call the dryness that you will perceive. And you see we are in this part still on the mountain. It's no music, but it's, yeah, it's a, kind a special of kind of song that we know and do we notice in which face is the, the coffee. And you see as well that the crema is the crema is generated on this face. And this is one of the big characteristics of Bertolai, is the generation of the foam. Did you see now the left face? It's what we call the dryness. Then Thank you so much. Enjoy. So I will do for me one small one. It's called, this is the Altisio. Mm. Alexis, how do you, do you find the inspiration to create a new flavor? Reno, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm Colombian. Then in Colombia, the coffee is part of the culture of the people. Then for the creation of our coffees, I see it's, it's natural that I think in the people, in the farmers, in the coffee farmers, is the first thing. And the other is uh, probably for you some stupid, but I like to listen music. Wow. I have an illiterate music, but it's part of this um, meaning isolating, making me isolated from the rest of the world, the noise and everything, and then enjoying these two factors. So w which kind of music do you listen? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I, I listen uh, classic music and also depending on the mood. The, for Federation, classic music is, is good because you have certain tonality, you have mm. certain ups, downs, and keep you, you can go uh, going up or you can go down. The, again, depending on the mood. Oh, wonderful. And tell me, what is the difference, the real difference between uh, Vertuo and the normal, the normal brand? The main difference between Vertuo and original line is yeah. In Bertu is the really the state of the art in, in innovation. In original line, what we had was destruction with pressure. Okay. In Bertu line, what we have is a new technology that is called centrifuge, that is spinning, make spinning the coffee. Then we have this capsule, then the capsule is turning in this, this capsule. Oh, it's turning. Change. It's okay. turning, and then it's turning until close to 5,000 speeds per minute. And then with this spinning is where we make the extraction of the flavor of the coffee, uh, but in a more smooth way. Then the difference that we will perceive on the cup is huge. Then we will perceive coffees which are less bitter, more smooth, more round and balanced. But on top of that, now if you see with Bertoline, we can go now until the big cups. Yeah, with big, very big, big cups. Cup, oh, and also with carf. The other one is also the capabilities with milk. Now, we, you see with this crema that we have the mixing with the milk, then this allow us to have a, to play with the crema color, color nuance and intensity of the coffee. Alexis, what is your routine when you're creating a coffee, new flavor? Well, first listening the brief. We have, we have some, uh, some kind of brief, and then after it, the interpretation of the brief in a real recipe. For me, more key points is making me isolated. For, for days, for hours, for...? Depending, depends. Depends of the, of the type of the brief. 
And do you listen to music when you... <laughs> this is one of my ways to find my isolation, to find my soul. Yeah, so you find your peace and the, your concentration, your focus with the music. Well, yeah. Well, I think we have some points in common then. <laughs> How does the music stimulate your creativity? Well, I think um, music stimulates my creativity, of course, but I got creative thanks to music. So it's a, it's a both both directions. In a way, I need music. I need music as as um, bread and water, you know. Um, since I'm four years old, I realized it was totally part of my, my way to express myself. First of all, it was a way to... Um, I felt more comfortable with the music, I felt reassured, I felt cozy with the music when I was very small. And then, age after, you know, year after year, I felt like music is really the center of my life because I needed to express myself. When I... For me, and you can see now, if I, if I would play something, I would be so much more convincing that with my words now, with you. But of course I have to, to answer your question with words. But to be simple, I think music is absolutely the center of all my life and all my decisions. And it's, it's a way to, uh, to share, of course, with the public. Because what I love in music is the fact you can share with people wherever you are, in whichever country you are, and you don't have to speak the language. Music is absolutely it's universal. It's an universal language. And it's wonderful. Universal language. How do you keep inspired people with your art in this current situation? Because I don't see any <laughs> CC. Well, it's, it's very, in a way, it's very difficult because, of course, we are not playing concerts. There is no public. Uh, but in another way, what I know is, you know, my art is playing the violin. It's, it's a thing I do since I'm four years old. And as I said, there is no words, so I can mm -hmm. play anywhere. So what I did in the, uh, during the first confinement, I played every morning at nine o'clock. I was, you know, recording a three minutes piece and I was putting online on the social medias around 10 o'clock in the morning. And I couldn't believe how many people were watching it. It was crazy. First days I did it really just to hold on something because uh -huh. I needed to, to act, to have an activity of music of playing. And um, after 56 days of playing, because it, it, it went on for 56 yeah, days yeah, while yeah. we were in lockdown, um, I finally stopped. And uh, since now, people are asking me, why don't you play? But of course, I can't do this every morning. <laughs> you know, my wife got completely crazy. But um, to, to be serious, I think um, what keeps me alive in this, in this very difficult time, not alive, but what keeps me you know, awake with music, yeah. exactly, is... Um, First of all, knowing that there will be better days, and in these better days, we will be so happy to be able again to have public, to be able to, to have a coffee with friends, just to, to be anywhere, and just everything that we can't do now is, will be possible. So this is the first thing. And then also, um, I know that um, through this music, we can share so many feelings, and I'm so lucky and so blessed to be able to play my art, even though there is no public, but to be able to express it. Inspiration and passion. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Renat. How do you like to spend your coffee moments? Oh, well, for me, it's very special because coffee, I can't drink coffee before a concert. If I drink coffee before a concert, I get nervous. But for me, coffee is freedom, meaning that coffee is when I don't play concerts, which doesn't mean I'm not free when I play concert, but which means it's kind of holidays or okay. a day, you know, without concert, a day where I can just, uh, I have a free evening or then I, I would just spend a, a coffee moment um, just with my family or then I, my problem is when I drink coffee, I really drink a lot of coffee. So then I, I mix with decaf because if I drink three or four, then it's a bit too much. But it's completely associated to a time, a quality time, family time, or just having some moments, just being... For yourself. Exactly. Okay. Renault, thanks again to share all this moment and this tasting with, with us. Pleasure. You, you know, what, what I found is there are plenty of similarities between the your art, the music, and the coffee. And uh, the first one, are you agree that the coffee is, and the music is like art? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, I think, first of all, of course, music is enough when you play Schubert, when you play Brahms, Mozart, Bach. I mean, it's one of the most, the purest art in the world. Also, the fact that you don't need words and it's just 
for everybody. I think coffee is the same somehow. You just, everybody can drink coffee. You don't need to speak. And you see, I think passion also is something we share both because um, I don't think you can be a musician without being passionate. No. And I guess it's the same for you, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Passion is, 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 is embedded on the, on the coffee. It's sinking again the farmers, the producing countries, the process of the coffee, and at the end, the consumers drinking the coffee. Of this course. Is passion. Then we have the patience. You know, how many hours do you spend, or how many... Tell us how it, how it, how it begins, you know, from, from the, the farm to then to the, the coffee we drink. It's taking a long time, no? It's taking the... Remember that in most of the countries, there is only one crop per year. And for all the development of this, then we need to wait until the next year is when we start the development one coffee. Next year and then okay. after doing the, all the different process. Right, and for us, when, when you, for example, when I begin a new piece, if I learn a new piece of Bach, for example, and between the time I will just learn the piece and, and le see it for the first time until I will play on stage. Sometimes it takes a whole life because you, it's like you need maturity, you need time, then you, you think it's not the right time to play, then you wait again. And um, we always say in music that time makes a quality because um, you know, when I was very young, I played a piece for my teacher and um, I asked her, it was a Brahms uh, sonata. Mm -hmm. I was nine or 10 and I said, what, what can I do to, that it would be better. And she was, uh -huh. you know, thinking, she said, mm, you will need time. And it's so true. Of course, I couldn't understand at this time. I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. But it means that to get better, you don't need only to practice like crazy. You need just time. And being, uh, you know, a human being and having a life. And I think it's, we have so many similarities in these See. two things. And coffee is the same, no? Only, only if we talk about the, the coffee as fruit, as then is longer the time to be ripe, better the quality of the coffee then, no? Then I, I fully agree with, with this. Wonderful. No? Renaud, music is art. Music is passion. But what about intensity? Oh my God. Well, music is intensity. You know, I was rehearsing just before with my new orchestra, Orchestre de Chambre de Lausanne, here in Lausanne, and we were working on, on different phrases, on intensity of the sound. I was telling them that they should put in their sound a bit more material. They had mm -hmm. a wonderful sound because it's an amazing orchestra. But I told them uh, on certain notes, can you give like 20% more um, structure, more body in the sound? And then the result is incredible. So it was intensity. This is just a small example. But intensity is when you play a Brahms piece, a Brahms sonata or a Brahms concerto, it's so intense because you are modulating the phrase, you are modulating the, the, the sound, and of course the first thing you hear when you hear music is somehow intensity. Because even if you play a pianissimo long note, it is intense. Mm -hmm. And you can have an intensity in a fortissimo, something huge with a lot of violins and, and brass and whatever, a big right. orchestra, but you, have, you can have an inten in intense moment with one instrument playing pianissimo, a long note, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and be completely suspended. So intensity is totally part of our Last art. question. In coffee, we have something that is quite important, is the aftertaste. What, what in the music is the aftertaste? Well, it would be when you just go out of the concert and the flavors that you keep from the music, the, the fact that you just go home and you are or happier or you're just quieter or you are more, you are f f full of, of amazing positive energy or you're just relieved of something. You are full. Right? Yeah, and this is a, the power of music. Yeah. That you just, after listening to a piece, Brilliant. you just, you're relieved. Excellent. And Alexi, what about you, about intensity in the coffee then? Uh, intensity on the coffee is, for me, is the complexity of the coffee, is what is resting on the, on, on the mode, is of the flavor. No? In intensity, we can go from low intensity to high intensity, and each one of this intensity, the flavor is completely different. Alexi, we spoke about the intensity of the music. I will show you my violin to show you the intensity of how... Excellent. ...of what a violin maker... You know, this violin of Guarnaius del Gesù wow. was built in 1737. And you can see the intensity of mm -hmm. the varnish, the quality of the wood, which was created in 1737. So it's crazy, it's, you know, how many years it was. And it's in a perfect state. And when I see this violin, when I see the color, and when you hear it, you can feel 
the intensity. So it's not only in the music, it's also in the instrument. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you can, if you go to the violin maker who was building it, you can just imagine the, t the, the patience and the time they need to do this. And the quality of this realization, which is quite incredible. incredible. It's one of the nicest valley in the world, and I thought it was nice that you can see it. Excellent, excellent. And you say this nuance is also like the crema of the coffee? A little this, bit, this, yeah. This kind well, you, of color, but... You can't really drink it, but at least no, uh, you, can, uh, you, know, you can listen to it. Excellent. Thank you, Renaud, to share Thanks with to you. us. Thanks to you. It was no? wonderful to be here. Renaud, a last coffee for the way. With pleasure. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I know. Thanks again to stay with us. Thanks We're to you. really proud to have you here in the Nespresso Boutique. And uh, I hope you enjoy also this, this moment. It was wonderful. And for you, I hope you enjoy these Nespresso coffee moments. And then share with us your uh, comments on the hashtag Nespresso Editions. And I hope you enjoy this Nespresso Bertolain tasting.